Wow, this music is cool. Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and welcome to Criminal Case Conspiracy. We are finally playing Criminal Case Conspiracy. I said I was gonna play it after I finished with Criminal Case War Edition, and here I am. I'm gonna play it, and as far as I know, we are going back to Greensboro that... Yeah, hi Jones, it's nice to see you again, and that uh, Jones is going to be my partner again, and I don't know when is this all happening, I know it's happening years and years later, because I think I spoiled myself, uh, oh god, I need to, I need to put down this music, it's very loud, I can't hear myself, sorry guys. I think I spoiled myself that Alex and Katya are going to have children, I think that's all I know for now, so Greensboro, Jones, said. Katya and Alex. Oh, I think that's all I know. And nice music, I like it. Hello, Officer Katria. I am excited to work with you. It is nice to meet you again, David. Now, why am I saying David? I always call him by uh, his last name, Jones. Alright. Alright, it's all going to be a tutorial now. If you don't want to watch it, guys, you can just skip it. Alright, I know this uh, game like a blink of an eye. I don't have to use hints. I know how to. Alright, knife with this body. And of course, for the tutorial, we have a victim who was killed by be by, by having her throat slashed. It always has to be a female victim. That's it. The this name was Jennifer Tanaka. She was wearing all this year's beauty pageant. We need to get a body to the lab for an autopsy. And his body knife is a murder weapon. Congratulations, Officer Katia. You're doing great on your first investigation. Thank you, Jones. Can't believe he's here. Alright, tablet. Alright, I know everything. Oh, who are you? I don't know her. She's new, right? I don't know her. Who is she? Martine Manoir. Alright. We have a new Corona bot. Wait, who do we have back in Grisford? I think it was Nathan. I, f I totally forgot about the first season of the criminal case, so I'm sorry if I'm saying something wrong. So, I saw you the wood of waiting today, and I can tell you for sure that the cure is right handed. Ah, uh, Scotty, I have this info to your. Alright, alright, I know all this! Who are you? Oh, you're the new police chief! Well, we know King committed suicide after we tried to arrest him, but... And that's it. We... Well, you wanted me to be the police chief, but then I went to Pacific Bay and... Hi, you are the new ch chief. Hi, I'm Katarina. I'm very good at being the detective, so you can trust me. Officer Katarina, Diane Parker, the police chief. Now about your case, according to a witness, the cure was a tie. Okay, okay. Come out to the bed and inspect the witness makeup table to find the evidence we're missing. Alright, what else are we missing? I still can't believe I'm back in Grimsboro, right? Ah, the classic with the police car, no more helicopter. Oh, of course, the shirt. And a new level. I'm gonna share this to my friends. Even though I only share it in uh, in that group criminal case where they share all this prizes you can get. The so far is covering blood. It's pretty oh, okay, okay, I know what I need to do. Sorry if I'm skipping this guy since I know everything about criminal case. Wolf news. Wow. See, I'm good. Am I doing great? The killer sure has a bad job. It is the evidence we're missing. Ask the killer to arrest the killer now. How do you know this is killer's shirt? Okay. No, he doesn't have a badge. It's this dude. Ding and take. 
gotcha. Journalist. Ask the idea did well in this case. I think it's time for you to get a real police officer suit. Alright, let's see how am I going to look like. What only three only three faces. Oh god. Oh, what to do? I can't uh, make an avatar that will look like uh, my previous avatars. Oh, I can't decide between this one and this one. On this one I look a bit older and on this one I look a bit Asian. So I don't know which one. Oh, I'll stick to this one. It looks good. Alright. Oh, this one's cooler, so... I can't move this. No? Alright, only... Three. Uh, I don't like this one, so it's either this one or this one. Oh, I'm gonna be blown so... Here, this is my avatar. Great choice of clothes, Officer Katia. You're now all set to start a new case. Okay. Alright, I know it. Alright, let me check the map. Money Mile, Mystic Grove, Old Town, The Greens, Apple Heights, oh! University, New Park, Springfields, Airport. So how is this gonna go? Are we gonna go just up and down, down, up and down? I don't know, this is all just confused as to... Alright, the last case here is here, so I guess the next district is going to be here. Money Mile. Alright, this is supposed to be Greensboro and I, they added some new districts here. I know about Maple Heights, University, what's this, Fairview, you know, I thought it was going to be industrial area. Alright, so this is all, uh, new, so... Alright, we're gonna go for the first case. Snake in the grass. Hello, Katia, as a police chief, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Greensboro. Yes, it's Greensboro! I know you worked here a few years ago, and I heard you did great, so I won't waste time exploring the job of a homicide detective to you. You'll still see I run a tight ship, but I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I'm sure we will, so... Hi, Jones. Right you are, Chief. But since we're out of escape that case just this time, I wonder if I might still continue for a stroll around town. Can I assure you remember Jones? He'll be your partner. Hey, Jones, don't be coy. I know you want to take Katia to the zoo. Well, yes, it's true. Katia, it's because Nathan, our old corroder, now works at the zoo. He's become a vet. Can you believe it? So what, he's not a corroder anymore. Alright. Just imagine, going from dead bites to treating patients that can bite. What a crazy cat, that Nathan. Anyway, I thought it'd be nice to go see him. Very well, Jones, you can go. It's so early that the rest of the team isn't in yet anyway. You can beat them when you get back to ya. Great. God, yeah, I'm not sure the zoo will be open yet, but hopefully Nathan will already be there. Alright, let's beat Nathan. Welcome to Grisboro, he's back. Good to be back in Grimsboro. Let's go investigate the zoo. Let's see. Which body are we going to find? Actually, who's going to be? Oh, I still need to get used to this new music. Just like I did with more additional enemies of the past. No, 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 no! No! I was just about to meet you after all these years! Come on, why? For the very first case, we get uh, an old friend killed. Well, not us, but somebody. Smart. Ah, oh, no, he said smartphone, I. <laughs> Alright. Alright, where's the soda can? There. Nice too, I like it. Katia, someone's on the ground. Oh no, is that... Nathan? Call 911, he's wounded. 
I no, you're right. It is not breathing. It's too late. He's dead. Look at all. It is wrist. He was tied up. And he's covered in bite marks. Wait, I see a lot of nature programs. These are snake bites. So Nathan was murdered using a snake. What exactly will happen here? Hopefully, Martin, our crew will be able to tell us more. And that's Nathan spot to watch. I didn't recognize it anywhere. He must have fallen off as the killer was attacking him. I'm sure Nathan would forgive us for hacking into his watch out of the circumstances. Let's unlock it. I better take these torn up pieces of paper back together just in case. Katria, I never expected our reunion with Nathan to end up with us investigating his murder. We owe it to him to see this through. Yeah. Jesus, why? Twenty-five minutes only. Well, I was expecting that. Let's now see what happened to Nathan. Oh la la, quel horror. What, what, kind of, what language is that? Is that French? I don't know. Hey Martin, I know. Nathan's word really is a tragedy. Yes, it's difficult enough having someone I know on my autopsy table, and even more so he's such a fine male speechman. But first thing first, it's nice to meet you, Katia. I heard a lot about your proves in the field. Talking of which, back to your poor dead friend. To begin with, the killer hit Nathan's head with some sort of a long, thin stick so as to render him unconscious. Then, as you saw, they tied his wrist together with rope, I suppose just in case he woke up. This is so very interesting, what can you tell us about Nathan's snake bites? Well, these bites come from the fangs of the eastern coral snake, which makes this serpent your murder weapon. It is recognized by its red, yellow, and black stripes. The venom from the eastern coral would have caused Nathan to experience slurred speech, double vision, and muscular paralysis, followed by a fatal heart attack. What a terrible way to die for Nathan. Yes, what's interesting is that the Easter Crow is a timid creature that doesn't usually bite people. Which is, your cure must be such a good snake handler that they were able to force the reptile into attacking your victim multiple times. Katia, yeah, I'll kill maybe a snake child, but I'd like to see their child themselves out of their jail cell. They won't succeed, no. Not when I'm here. Ah, a new level that's going to be happening very often now. Since those are few first few levels. Let's now restore first this tour card. And I am I supposed to expect some kind of uh, new systems about uh, examining and analyzing uh, clues or is just everything the same as in previous games? But there is might look like a cute little green card, but the message side is far from sweet as dress data. It says, Nathan, expecting you in early tomorrow. Keep my eye on you, don't be late. And it's signed, J. Peacock. I agree, you better find this Peacock dude and ask what he was doing ordering Nathan around. Okay, be too bossy. Okay, let's unlock uh, this spot watch. Ah, it's this. I know about this already, so... It's unlocked. Katila, let's call Katy, our tech expert can find something useful hiding inside Nathan's high-tech smartwatch. Well, if you're uh, a tech expert, then what? Where's Alex? What is he? He's also supposed to be a tech expert. Well, oh, in one hour only. Uh, let's go talk to this peacock dude. You there! The zoo isn't open yet! How the hell did you get in? Where are Grizzly PD? And who are you exactly? Don't you recognize me? I'm Jackson Peacock, owner of the mighty Zooniverse and Fairview's wealthiest entrepreneur. Well, we're here to investigate a murder and. A murder? A I zoo? Although this is going to be terrible for business. Who died? Nathan Paddy, one of your employees. Why did you tell me strong turns to come to the zoo early today? Nathan's dead? I'll simply remind the fellow not to be late. 
Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. Do you know how hard it is to find a good vet these days? I suppose I can't open the zoo until the investigation is complete. And just after I spent a fortune on refurbishing re the terrarium. What a disaster. Could it you be a mention terrarium? Isn't that where snakes live? Yeah, give it a latest for the the snake, I agree. We should look around the terrarium. The dangerous reptiles will all be locked up, right? Well, they are supposed to be. Except for the what? For the snake that killed Nathan. Alright, let's investigate Terrarium. Hey, okay, sign of the murder weapon? No. No. Thank goodness there aren't any snakes creeping about, at least not outside their cages. But try, right, since someone was here recently and left behind their handbag. Let's take a peek inside. Hello, it's like he has a picture of a woman. She's kind of familiar. Can I see if we can find a record of this mystery guy in our database? Yeah, I think she looks familiar to me. I think I remember her from the, 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 pre, the first season in Grimsboro. I think she's uh, that. Uh, that girl that knows how to handle snakes, uh, and Nathan, Nathan met her in, uh, in that theater where they used a snake in a play. And we were investigating it and I can't remember much, but here, that's my predicament. What's that? Travel flask. Damn, yeah, makes you think a travel flask fire your headbag is going to help us. Oh, there's something written on the side of the flask. Well, I know, but it is about your instincts. Let's get to Dusty Kid and retrieve that text. You never doubted me, Jones. Alright, let's identify this mystery woman. Yeah, that fine Harper Stone. Wait a second, the girl in luck is Harper Stone. Harper's latest girlfriend. A couple of you didn't recognize her straight away. I was thinking I hadn't spent much time with Nathan recently. I had a lot on my mind. If I remember correctly, Harper moonlights as a consultant at the zoo. You better find her and pass on the sad news of Nathan's death. Was I right? Is that her? Well, I'm not sure anymore. Alright, now let's dust this flask. Miss Goldfinch was best teacher. So let's see what it says on travel flask. Miss Goldfinch was best teacher. This Miss Goldfinch must be the owner of the heaven you found a flask in. She gotta go far without her teeth. You better fire and have a little chat. Okay. Alright, you're a teacher. Alright, let's go first talk to Harper. Jones, are you looking for Nathan? I have no idea where he is. Harper, sorry to meet you after so long with sad news. You see, we found Nathan's body earlier today. He's been murdered. I think I heard you correctly, Jones. Did you just say that Nathan's been murdered? Yes, I'm afraid I did. I'm so sorry. But it's copy. Who could have done this? Who could have wanted to kill Nathan? This and I were so happy to get him. Please find where we did this, Officer Katria. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do my best. Let's go talk to Miss Goldfinch. Miss Goldfinch, we really need to see your back. Can I ask what you are doing at the zoo before opening hours? I was a science teacher at Fairview High. We got a school treat to the zoo later today, so I came in early to make sure everything goes in order for the little darlings. 
Well, so it's say that the zoo is closed to further notice because of a murder. The zoo vet's been found dead. A murder? Oh, I knew going to the zoo was a bad idea. My dear people are such sensitive souls. Imagine if they'd see the dead body. They have been traumatized for life. Ah, uh, yes, well, please do stay rich for my phone, Miss Goldfinch, as we may still have some questions for you. Okay, that's it then. Let's check out the smartwatch. Hi, Katty. Long time no see. I really missed you. You are cool, and Alex is cool. You are both hackers. You have so much in common, I know it. Oh, Katty, your first day back in Grisboro has been taped with such tragedy. Nathan was an awesome guy. I remember how sweet he was with little Sammy when we took him to the zoo. Oh, but you don't know? Me and Alex got married and then we had Sammy. I decided to stop working for the police and become a stay-at-home dad, and I'm replacing him. Oh, so that's what this is all about. That's why he's not here, you're replacing him. But you're also cool, I know it. You're a good hacker, so... But I digress. Nathan's smartwatch contained a pretty trendy email that had been sent to him. The email on the subject contained three steak emojis and read, Nathan, man is the weakest and most defenseless of all living things, as you'll soon find out. A trader email involving snakes? Given how Nate died, it must have been sent to him by his killer. I agree, but first, frustratingly, I couldn't trace the address the email came from, and then I had a thought and enlisted Gabriel's help. Ah, yes, Gabriel's our profile, an all around culture expert. Hey, if you have any questions about history, Gabe's your man. Alright, you're going to be new DuPont now for me. <laughs> and you, Russell, also. You like to make your acquaintance, Katia. And you are too kind, Jones, although I prefer you to refer to me as Gabe. Back to Curious River, their choice of words intrigued me. It's not like they were quoting something. And I was right, the Q had appropriated a lie from Rudy Arcade Police the Jungle Book, a tale about a boy called Bogoy and his anthropomorphized animal friends. Uh, who doesn't know that? So Q raised the Jungle Book. Well, Prison Rats would be their only animal friends once Katia puts them behind bars. Snakes and the uh, Jungle Book, of course. You got killed by Ka. <laughs> Katria, I was hoping you were to the race room would kick off on a high, but instead we have the death of our dear friend to contend with. Nathan's murder sounded torturous. I don't think I'd wish death for Snake better than even my worst enemies. Our suspects include Jackson Pika, Euro the Zoo, where Nathan worked. Peepox are part posters twirl, but so far I have no murder motive there. And then there's Peepa Goldfinch, a science teacher who happened to be at the zoo at the time of Nathan's murder. We also questioned Nathan's girlfriend, Harper, but I can't imagine her harming, let alone killing him. <sighs> Who, who's coming? Uh, which snake is coming for us? We gotta work it out. What's that noise, Katia? Peace, peace, peace! How do you do that? Peace. Ah, uh, it's a snake! Uh, get away from him. Get away from you, Jones. I don't want you to lose you now. You're the best. Alright, that chapter went well. We started very well with this new game, I must say it. Alright, let's now end this chapter. We're gonna start here, we're gonna continue playing chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!